Summer Loving had me a great time. Summer Loving, it happened so quickly. I have changed the words there a bit to offer some copyright protection, but it was with Danny and Sandy's anthem about a holiday fling stuck in my mind that we made the roughly one hour journey to Cala Romantica in the east of the island. Following imaginary rose petals scattered along the motorway, the journey flew as I daydreamed about my imminent surprise proposal. What better place than the Cove of Romance to pop the big question? Kiki, mi amor, will you have paella for lunch with me? In all honesty, Kiki's more likely to say yes to getting married before saying yes to eating carbohydrates, so I was justifiably nervous, but in a moment I will treasure for the rest of my life, she said I will, and that she'd even consider having some bread as well. Set amongst a lovely stretch of coves called Calas de Mallorca in the east of the island, Romantica is a mellow spot popular with tourists and featuring a fairly narrow but deep beach, all the usual sun loungers for rent and one of my personal favourite chiringuitos or beach bars. However, due to our visit mid-coronavirus de-escalation, everything was gone, including the entire bar. A devastating blow as the reason this chiringuito is so cool is it has actual bar stools in the sand and they serve the lager in in proper old-school dimpled pint glasses. So, as a poor substitute, it was time for a cup of coffee, which, as is the custom here in Spain, was served at exactly the same temperature as the surface of the sun. If you do have a holiday booked, I suggest pre-ordering your coffee at least three weeks in advance. Then it might actually be drinkable by the time you get here. Today, we have come to Cala Romantica. It's exactly what it sounds like. It's the Romantic Cove. Although, I don't really know if Kiki's in the mood for any romance today. I think she just wants to top up her suntan and have a paella lunch, which is the plan today. We're gonna go and have a delicious paella right next to the beach. Romantica, though, is a great cove here, a great cala in a string of coves and one of my favourite beaches, if not my favourite favourite beach here on the island of Mallorca is called Calabarques and it's just, it's just up that way actually, just up over this wall and to the, to the south of where we are. So this stretch of coves is arguably the most beautiful part of the island. The water, incredible, I mean look at the colour of this water. I promise you, I've not boosted the saturation in the edit. This is raw Mother Nature's colour palette. The beaches in this stretch of the island are almost always immaculate. Well, technically Cala Romantica today is not immaculate because we're in June right now and part of the de-escalation phase uh, after the coronavirus in Mallorca. So it's quite cool because you get to see the beach as maybe it should be. It's unswept, unkempt and a lot more rugged. I'm just walking up one side of the Cala here to the left side of the beach, up on this really rough and raw path that takes you up to a viewpoint, a vantage point over the whole sea there. I think it's gonna be pretty spectacular. So I'm heading up there. I would head up on the cliffs on the other side. I might do later, but I've got a bit of a bum knee. There you go. I've got a bit of a knee injury, so it's quite sore today. Boo hoo me. This is a bit of an easier route for me, so I'm Heading up here and I think it takes us up to about the same elevation so the views should be equally spectacular on either side. Have I got a bogey? I felt a wee tickle there. Allergies as well. Kicking in with all the plants. We're getting up to the peak of this trail here. 
some apartments. Pretty nice place to come, super quiet here. Just the sound of the wind and the smell of the salty air. Let's go and have a look over here at this wall and see what the view's like. As if I have to wonder, look at that guys, look at this. It's absolutely out of this world. The pie is really nice. It's very juicy, very flavoursome. Yeah, it's got all the wee bits and pieces that we like to pick on. I'm leaving my my big um, prawn for the very last, that's the last kind of treat. The pie, I've got to admit, that is very nice, but um, I normally have a big plate of paella and this time it hasn't been that big so I'm a bit disappointed you know apart from that everything else is pretty nice and you know you've got to see the surroundings it's, it's very worth it you know having the paella with these views okay the secret to a good paella is for me a creamy a creamy flavor and not overpowering on the seafood flavor this paella is ticking these boxes very very nice but as Begonia said, a little on the small side. <laughs> the tummy will be rumbling in about 45 minutes, which is what you do not want after pie. You want to be on the beach in a coma. <laughs> not like thinking about Kit Kats and Magnums and stuff like that, which is inevitably going to be happening. I'm going to be wanting chocolate. But my main tip about paella is if you have paella for dinner, all right, you tourist, it is a big no-no, big no-no. It's, I mean, delicious and tasty, and I would frequently have paella for dinner if I was given the option, but Spanish people will laugh at you, all right? You don't have rice in the evening, you idiot. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video from Cala Romantica in Calas de Mallorca, Mallorca. If you did, hit that like, and don't forget to subscribe. It's completely free, it's not Amazon Prime, come on subscribe also i'd love to hear from you in the comments have you been here are you coming here share your information and conversation about mallorca with me and i will respond to you that's a pinky promise guys until the next video take it easy